welcome to one of my Excel video tutorials. My name is Ken Atigari. In this video, I'm going to show you two ways in which we can create error bar, that's, um, error bar charts. Now, what's an error bar chart? Over here, I've got a drop down list and I've got values that is fed by this drop down list. So, I want a situation where when I select different cities there are different operational values for each city so for Dubai these are the values for Dubai and this compares to the maximum values in United Arab Emirates and the maximum value the uh, minimum value for uh, for number of vendors in United Arab Emirates so we can see that Dubai has got the minimum it's also it's one of the minimum, but there are some others that have got almost 30 vendors in the United Arab Emirates. Over here, I've got values that are fed by this dropdown, like I said, and this is what I'm trying to create. Like I said, I'm going to show you two ways in which I can do and uh, create recreate this chart. One of them, the first one, I think is much harder, while the second one, I think it's much easier. I'm going to get rid of this. Uh, pick this value. As you can see, this the city value, the maximum and the minimum value. I pick this value. Insert line chart to the line chart, and got this. Do it over here. I'm going to get rid of this join line by doing this format data series blend color no lines close now these are the central values so to speak for the city and I want to now get the max and minimum country values I'll go in here I'll go to layout I go to error bars more error bars now that we're here, I'll tell you what I did previously. I created two sets of value, the maximum and the minimum. The maximum is simply the city value. Sorry, let me see. I think I made a mistake here. Okay, what I need to do is to, yes, correct. I separated this, subtracted this from this to get the maximum. So in other words, in this chart, what happens is that 23 is added to 5 to take it up and then 5 is subtracted from uh, 0 sorry is subtracted from 5 to give the minimum value let's look at the equation let me just quickly do it again this call equal this minus this and this is equal to this minus this. Now that we've got that value, uh, this sorry, I don't know what happened here. Let's go back. Mm. Right. Come over here. Go to layout. Go to error bars. More arrow ensure that this bolt is selected go over to custom specify value the positive error value here is this one while the negative error value here is this one click on ok that shouldn't be, let's see Okay, then get rid of that. Close. There we've got it. I change this, it changes. Change it changes. If I change the country to Saudi Arabia and then the city within that country it also updates 
Now I'm going to use the other method which I prefer. It's using stock. What I simply do is to highlight present value, the maximum value, and the minimum value. I go over to insert other charts. I go to stock. This one. Use it. You can see it's already having the likeness of what we want. So I'm going to edit by going over to the high format data series. Marker options built in. Increase this. Market fill. Probably go for solid fill, black. Close. Do the same to the minimum value for my data series. Market fill. Built in. Close. I'm going to go for the central value. Click in to try to get the central value. Can get that in there. See. Right. Go to format data series. Marker options built in. This increase the size. Marker fill. Solid fill. Black. Right, so here we have it. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. So we have the two charts lying by side by side. You can see that they practically look alike. They do the same thing. But I think stock is much easier than going than using your arrow bars. Right, all well and good. You've watched me create two types of the same kind of chart. One of them I used the normal um, line charts, line um, charts, and the other one I used a uh, stock chart. As you can see, both of them have the same kind of output. I always prefer using the easier stock the stock chart because it's much easier to manipulate and document. Thank you for watching my video. Please do join me for the next video. See you then.